I will apologise for the delays, welcome back, I am the Colonialist and in this week's episode at the end we're going to catch up with the Raitido Panera Metallica competition but right now we're checking out the Acromimex Octospinosis Leafcutter Ants and how they've been progressing since their troubles in the summer. For leafcutter ant keepers, the winter brings a whole new set of challenges. No longer are you stressing about how you can cool off your colony and keep them at the right temperatures. Heating them is always the easiest scenario and it is really easy to keep them at the right temperatures over the winter. In fact, the hardest thing that hits you in the winter is your food sources. Foliage becomes scarce and there's only a select amount of foliage they can cultivate the fungus with. So I've decided to trial my colony on some of the weird and wonderful things that I've read in articles that I've found on the interweb. I've trialled them on Kellogg's Rice Krispies and they've been a huge success. That's the strange stuff that you see on the edging of the fungus as you look. And here it is. The other food source that I've got is from buywholefoodsonline.co.uk and this is the dried rose petals. I bought quite a lot to sustain my colony for a while. They're pretty happy and also from Tesco's and Aldi, I've given them romaine lettuce and they also quite like the jelly pots that are designed for insects. I hope these ideas help if you have been struggling to decide what to feed your colonies over the winter. I do know that they also like sprouts and cabbage and various other leaf that you can try. Just be very careful, wash them and rinse them thoroughly to try and free them from any pesticides or possible contaminants. Moving on from the acros, let's take a look at the Raitido Panera Metallica, the green headed ant competition. The competition is still live. I'm currently waiting for a HDMI cable to hook up my Nikon D3400 to my laptop to be able to live stream on YouTube. This is the only way to live stream before you have 1000 subs you're unable to live stream from your mobile phone device. I delayed making this episode because I was hoping that I'd have the news that the HDMI cable has arrived and I'll be able to announce when the live stream is happening. Unfortunately the HDMI cable has gone missing with all the Christmas posts and it may be delayed till after Christmas. It's not all bad news because if you have not entered I will put the link in the description of this video. Jump in and enter while you can because once I announce when the live stream is happening that is when the competition will close. We currently have an amazing 42 entrants to the competition so good luck and until next time this is The Colonialist signing out.